All right, guys, I'm going to do a hopefully a quick review here of the Auto Spa Six Inch Professional Polisher. I purchased it the other day at Walmart. I wanted uh, I purchased it primarily um, to buff these lenses out so they were clear again. They look this one looks almost brand new. I used the foam pad from the the buffer on it um, with some of the Mag Mother's Mag Aluminum mag and aluminum polish just put some of that on the on the foam pad that's on the uh, on your buffer or polisher and about 10 to 11 minutes i did this large plastic screen which was very um foggy it was foggier than this one it looked a lot worse than this uh, i can see the bulb in this one i couldn't see the the bulbs in inside this uh display here just we couldn't see much at night with the lights on it was just seemed like that we didn't even have the lights on so that's how bad it was and that looks basically brand new this side about 11 minutes with the buffer the polishing buffer and this foam pad the foam pad right after i finished just disintegrated so i didn't have another foam pad because you only get one with the box um, so on the other side i had to use a different pad i used the synthetic the blue one in there i started out with I used that for about 10 to 15 minutes and uh, it didn't do as well so I switched to the, um, the synthetic wool or whatever the other buffer pad is it didn't do much better so you can see it's not quite as clear as the other side it doesn't look new and it's better but that took about 25 minutes maybe 30 minutes to get it to that point um, so if you're gonna polish your lenses don't use these other pads use that uh, use a a foam sponge type pad that comes with it like I said it disintegrated um, about three minutes later when I started on the other lens this is what happened to the the base pad that holds all of your other pads this piece here the plastic inside melted it got hot for some reason and I looked at it and it just it was out I believe it did that because of this screw here it goes in the top I think it came a little loose and it vibrated a bit much and maybe the part heated and melted I'm not sure that's the only thing I can figure happened so I went to Walmart thinking you know if it breaks that easy they've they've got to have replacement pads they didn't have them um, unfortunately I didn't take the buffer with me because I was just gonna buy a pad so I purchased another buffer and then I'll just take this one back. Um, looked online, couldn't find a replacement part. Looked at the website of the company that makes it. Car and I believe is the company that makes it. No, no replacement parts. Looked everywhere. People who sell the, the, the buffer, the polisher, I couldn't find a part. So that's one drawback about this thing. If anything goes wrong with that base pad, you don't have any other options. You're stuck. I couldn't find anything that was universal that would fit it either. Only because it, you can see it has like a flat edge on each side. I couldn't find anything that would work for it. So you'd be stuck with it. Um, also the foam pads are horrible. They, that sponge foam pad was very light pressure on, on both lenses. It just disintegrated. Um, what else? So yeah, anyway, I, I got that. So while I was at Walmart, I went and I purchased another one. So started using the, the next one and you can see what happened here this part of the pad just came off so now it's extremely difficult to use and it looks like the, the plastic center part might be wearing as well there's a little washer metal washer goes in there but it looks like this thing does it's not going to hold up that much longer anyway but anyway this part came off you can't you can't find this part so there's nothing you can do other than work with what you have and try to get that to fit in there when you put the the sock the polishing pad over the top of that if you don't get it straight and it's not easy then um, it starts wobbling and, and it doesn't polish properly the other thing about this is since the other one seemed to burn up I think because that screw came loose um, on the new one every about five to eight minutes I'd take that polishing pad off or off of this buffer pad whatever the base plate base plate and I'd tighten that screw and it was always coming loose I had to keep tightening it 
So if I hadn't tightened it, it probably would have done the same thing that the old one did and just melted. Um, the only problem is this other part came off, so it's kind of not very usable now. So I've got two of them to take back. Um, so anyway, I, I, I can't recommend this really. Um, if somebody knows where to get a replacement part, that'd be great. I looked everywhere. I looked online, looked at multiple stores. I looked at the company website that makes these and sells them or they make them and sell them to other places to distribute the product. But anyway, the motor, the buffer itself, six speeds. It's good, strong. Didn't smell like it was, you know, overheating or anything. It smelled, I mean, everything was good. So it's just their little base base plate pad. Um, they either need to start selling replacements or come up with a better design because that pretty horrible, really. Um, anyway, I can't recommend it. I hope this video has helped someone and at least avoid these and go with a different brand. Um, I don't know what it could be. You can't use it. I just did two headlights. <laughs> One of them broke after one headlight and the next one broke after the other. So that's very little use you get out of them. If you're going to buy it to polish your car or whatever, I can't see it lasting that long. Maybe other people had better luck, but but this mother's mag and aluminum polish does a great job, as you can see with the, the light, if you got the right applicator pad on there. So anyway, take care and good luck. Bye.